Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Greg. And, uh, <laughs> hi there. And five years ago, I was standing on a stage just like this, delivering my speech at the first Black Box Spectacular I was at. If you don't remember, if you weren't there, I was about this tall. You know, my hair was much shorter, and my voice was trembling the whole time. I started karate in January 1999, and I had no idea I was going to stick around for 10 whole years. You know, setting aside two hours a week can really get in the way of hanging out with friends, eating a scheduled dinner with your family, or doing homework at a reasonable hour. People ask me all the time, you know, why do you keep going? You're a black belt, you should just stop. You already accomplished your goal. And I have to say that there are a lot of times I ask myself those same questions. But when I really think about it, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Personal best karate is unlike anything I've ever done. For one thing, the classes don't happen until the end of the day. So you walk in there having already gone to school or work, and you know how your day's been. So you can walk in there thinking, man, my day stunk. And karate is the only place I can think of where you can let out all your energy, punch something as hard as you want, and everyone around you thinks you're doing a great job. <laughs> and if you walk in on the best day of your life, it can only get better. See, it's the people that make the classes what they are. You can really look up to the instructors because they've been there for 15 years and they've been watching you for anywhere from three to 10 years. Their encouragement and advice can really guide you as you grow. The students in your class can become like a family. Everybody's trying to get better together. The people who are better at forms help everyone with forms. People who are better at self-defense help everyone with self-defense. The people who are better at sparring give everyone a hand, even though sometimes it is a back fist. I'd like to take a second to thank everybody who makes my karate experience special. Everybody at the Foxborough School, especially my teachers, Mr. Jennings and Mr. Mansour, and my newfound brothers, Joe, Dave, and Rohan. And now, as great as karate is, it's more than just a stress lever or a positive environment to go. Karate has taught me the power of self-discipline. It's called personal best karate. Not only the strongest person in the class gets a black belt karate or do the bare minimum to pass karate. It's personal best. And a personal best is special because you decide where to set the bar. Nobody's dragging you to karate every day and nobody's gonna make you do better unless you wanna do better. I remember the moment in my training where I decided that I was gonna do more than show up to class two times a week and just go through the form, go through the self-defense, know it for the test, and then forget it when you're done. We were doing physical fitness a lot in class and the activity at the beginning of every class, we set aside a few minutes and we tried to do 100 push-ups and as few sets as possible. After a couple weeks, I could do 100 push-ups in just one set. You know, for, and we did, that, we did that for a whole other month. And so every, every week, I was doing 200 push-ups in one set each. Then we moved on to forms and we started learning a new form. And so the push-ups took a back seat. And so I went from doing 200 push-ups a week to none. Zero. Then when we started doing push-ups again in class, I was shocked by how weak I felt. I could barely get through a set of 25 and I was sweating through the whole, through the whole process. And something inside me just clicked. You don't just wake up one morning doing the best that you can do. And then there's no quick way to be the best that you can be. The famous philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche said on life, either you will reach a point higher up today or you will be training your powers so that you will be able to climb higher tomorrow. In this way, potential is something that you have to shape and build up to. And when you finally think you've reached the top, you can push yourself a little bit farther and build a little bit higher. The easiest way to build higher, to raise the bar for yourself, is to do something little every day to improve yourself. Because how you spend your days is how you spend the rest of your life. Now this idea isn't exclusive to karate, it can be applied to anything. It's the people who take it upon themselves to get better that you see on TV doing backflips on balance beams, 900s on skateboards, or playing impossible songs on guitar. Karate has made me challenge myself. Karate has taught me self-discipline and self-respect. It has given me the confidence to know that I can do anything if I put my mind to it and do little bits every day. So if I could take one thing away from karate, I would not take all the cool fighting techniques, the ability to break stuff with my hands, or any of that stuff. I would take away the self-discipline because it's the most important part. And, be, 
excuse me, and because no matter what you do well, challenging yourself to do better will make it amazing. Thank you.